Being a Whammy student is a little difficult to explain to people, I would say. The Whammy program uh, uh, was designed to serve our region. You don't find medical schools around the world that have done what this school has done. To continue to meet the needs of the Northwest, the Whammy program is going to have to grow and expand. Our goal is really to serve the community, and I think that the UW does a great job of modeling that to its students and to the larger community. With several congratulatory events across the Northwest region, Whammy is celebrating its 40th anniversary as a regional medical education program. Along with that is a brand new crop of graduating medical students who are finding out what the next few years of their lives will entail as they enter their medical residencies. Important landmarks in the Whammy legacy, creating a healthy future for the Northwest region. The acronym WAMI stands for the five participating states, Washington, Wyoming, Alaska, Montana, and Idaho. The University of Washington and its School of Medicine started WAMI in 1971, and throughout its history, thousands of participants, including physicians, universities, medical societies, hospitals, and legislators, have partnered to advance regional excellence in medical education and to meet critical physician workforce needs in the Northwest, benefiting all of us. I think the Whammy program is uh, unique amongst medical schools across the country. It provides um, unique opportunities that I don't think are available at, at any other institution uh, in the country, really. The first year was definitely a big transition for me. It was overwhelming, it was fun, it was exciting, it was tough, um, but it, it felt good at the same time. Um, I, there were a lot of sleepless nights, there were a lot of long nights in the library with lots and lots of coffee. I think the founding uh, uh, pioneers of Whammy uh, made their decisions based on their personal experiences. Some of the founding pioneers uh, lived in uh, rural areas, some lived in cities. One of the founding pioneers was a Spokane native, but uh, traveled frequently to the uh, small towns. So the founding pioneers based their vision for Whammy on what they saw as the needs of the greater community. I don't think any of us really understand how it came together so quickly. It was enormous cooperation from certain doctors, uh, in fact, the majority of doctors, and it was a great cooperation from the governors in those other states who decided that when you look at the cost of building a medical school, this was the best way to go, and they also recognized that they had the same problem that they we had in the state of Washington. We weren't training the right kind of doctors for where the needs are. As I said, you don't need a heart transplant surgeon in Buffalo Breath, Montana. You need a Marcus Welby, MD. The Whammy program uh, uh, was designed to serve our region. The intent from the beginning uh, in the uh, late 1960s as the founders were designing the program was to uh, uh, re-engineer the way the education of a physician is designed, to train the physicians uh, uh, where they are going to be practicing. The Whammy program uh, originally started in 1971, and it started with just one W in the Whammy. Um, so the four original states were Washington, Alaska, Montana, and Idaho, with Wyoming joining us to be the second W in 1996. Um, so we do have a partner university of each of those states. The University of Washington School of Medicine is the main school. Um, our partner in the state of Washington is Washington State University with campuses both in Pullman and Spokane. Our partner in Alaska is the University of Alaska at Anchorage. Our partner in Montana is Montana State University in Bozeman. In Idaho, it's the University of Idaho in Moscow. And then our newest partner, Wyoming, is the University of Wyoming in Laramie. Whammy is a five-state collaborative around medical education that's sponsored by and accredited by the University of Washington School of Medicine. So Alaska, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho don't have their own medical schools, so they partner with the University of Washington to provide part of that education, which is the first year on campuses in those states. And along with those states, we also put a campus in eastern Washington and Pullman, and now since 2008, also in Spokane. I did my first year out in Bozeman, Montana, and it was a uh, wonderful since I'm from there. I'm from Emigrant, a small town outside Bozeman. So I got to return to be near home to start my training. And uh, there was wonderful professors out there for all the basic science 
uh, classes, plus we have some hospitals there, so we get a little bit of clinical experience. And it was, I think it was nice to start in a small group of 20, and you really get a sense of what Montana medicine is like. So after I finished my first year here in Spokane, everyone moves to Seattle for the second year of training, and that was a very exciting move to get to be at the big academic center and meet the people who are doing cutting-edge research in medicine and expanding from a class of only 20 to meeting the other 200 people that were my virtual classmates up until that point. One of the great things about the WAMI programs is how much students are able to individualize their medical education. So in their third and fourth year, students really have the opportunity to go anywhere in that five-state region to do their clinical rotations. So they can really pick and choose and work in multiple different communities to see how healthcare is provided, but really see different components of healthcare that they're interested in. We are very fortunate that uh, UW School of Medicine has been ranked uh, for 19 consecutive years uh, uh, by U.S. News & World Report as the number one primary care medical school in our country. The success in primary care relates directly to the WAMI program. It takes the teaching away from uh, hospital into the sites of the practice. It gives the experience to our students that they need to make the choices that will be best uh, for them and best for communities to support the uh, care for patients across our region. I think my goals are closely related to all the experiences I had doing rotations out in smaller communities and having that exposure helped guide my career choices and I ended up looking at a lot of smaller community programs so that hopefully I can come back one day whether it's rural Montana, small town in Alaska, little town somewhere in Idaho or Wyoming. I think having the exposure to the, the sort of non-academic community setting showed me that that's where I want to practice one day. It's pretty tough to go out there and go out there alone and be a family doctor in a town doing everything without a lot of relief and I think the medical school here is supporting them. There's a number of programs sending people with more advanced training out there, and I think the program is still very successful. I think other states wish they have it. I would tell people who are coming in as first years, no matter what site that you're at, the things that have made you successful so far in your education are can continue to make you successful in medical school. My first year class in Montana of 20 people are some of the best friends that I've ever had in, ever anywhere and I'm so excited to carry them on through the rest of my career and I think really you know taking time to get to know those people and, and work with them um, and collaborate is just really uh, makes folks successful. As an early graduate of the WAMI program, Dr. Ramoncita Maestas is one of the leaders of just one of the unique programs at the University of Washington School of Medicine, a program designed to help students as they transition from year to year. The college system at the medical school was, is really um, a, a structural change that allowed um, a large school, an otherwise large school, to be broken down into smaller units called colleges. And um, within the colleges, um, what it really means for a student matriculating uh, to the University of Washington is that they're assured of a mentor that will track them throughout all four years. When I first heard the idea of the colleges, I just felt like, oh my God, this would have been such a marvelous thing when I was in medical school. I would have made my experience so much better. It's really fun when the student has that aha moment when they get it, um, when they've struggled to uh, refine something and then they really get it and then they feel really confident of their skills and they feel like they're really progressing and moving along. And to be able to guide them, it's just very rewarding. For 40 years, WAMI students from all five states come to Seattle for their second year of medical school. It's an interesting transition for many as they go from a class size of about 20 students to classrooms of over 200. And as the program continues to grow, the opportunities for bigger changes are on the horizon. 
Each and every one of us, our families, our friends, will obviously be patients at various points of our lives. And the region needs more doctors. With a new building being constructed on the Spokane River Point campus, opportunities will open up for educating even more medical students. Transition to second year was definitely a good one. The material changed in the amount and the depth and the intensity. Um, however, it was finally getting to, to become more related to practicing medicine. The second year medical school builds on the first year and so they take a lot of the biochemistry and anatomy and histology and physiology and now they start applying it to organ systems. If your left eye is affected, so your left eye doesn't, isn't able to look in and down. The second year, most of the students would say is harder than the first year. It's really, uh, it moves at a very rapid pace. There's a lot. So for us, second year was definitely like, you feel like you're a doctor finally. You feel like you're learning the stuff that doctors need to know. So it was a lot more exciting and engaging as compared to first year for me. The WAMI program has been very successful over the last 40 years and we hope that it will continue to be successful for the next 40 years. I think really to continue to meet the needs of the Northwest, the WAMI program is going to have to grow and expand. Um, that's going to mean more students in more locations. The educational design of the WAMI program uh, has uh, uh, combined strengths of the partner universities. Uh, a uh, decision was made more than 40 years ago to uh, train first-year medical students in Pullman uh, and in Moscow. Uh, so the University of Idaho, the uh, Washington State University, and the University of Washington have been partners together for 40 years uh, to create a very high-quality uh, uh, first-year medical education experience in Pullman. Approximately five years ago, with the support of Washington State University, the support of the Spokane business community, we developed a proposal to the Washington State Legislature to add a new site for training first-year medical students in Spokane. The vision of developing a, a university campus in Spokane goes back uh, 40 years and more. The community leaders in the 1970s and probably earlier began to envision that River Point could be developed as a metropolitan university campus. When I came in 2005, there was really a focus on what can we do to begin to get a, a, a cohort of students, uh, first-year students in WAMI. We worked with the legislature, the community, University of Washington, WSU, and uh, received approval and funding to launch that in the fall of 2008. We got our first class in 2008, uh, I, in August. I came in February, so we had this very short run-up, at least I felt it was very short, to get ready for that first uh, group of students. They were the first ones through the curriculum, so every single class was brand new. So we were very excited to see how that would go, and it went very well, we thought, especially for the very first iteration of our curriculum. I was part of the first ever class of medical students who started medical school in Spokane. And as a first year student coming into a brand new program, we didn't entirely know what to expect. Uh, we didn't know what medical school was all about, and that's true for all first year medical students. But I think the program itself was still learning how to teach medical students and all that. So we had a few road bumps along the way, um, and what we ended up finding is that the uh, program leadership in Spokane are in incredibly receptive to our feedback as students, and they bent over backwards to make sure we got the experience that we were looking for. The Huskies and Cougars have been working together for 40 years uh, on the Whammy program. This is the year that uh, that site has uh, reached maturity in the sense that it, it was four years ago uh, that we had the first uh, uh, class of first-year medical students in Spokane. Uh, this June, that uh, class of students uh, will graduate. So I've been going to graduation since 2008 and uh, have watched students from other first-year sites go across the stage, and I'm very excited to see Spokane students go across this year. At present, 2012, Spokane has the opportunity to pr provide medical education for first year, third year, and fourth year. First year here on this campus, the third and fourth years in the hospitals here in the region, and that's been true in the third and fourth years for decades. What has never been available in Spokane or anywhere in our state or region outside of Seattle is an opportunity to take the second year of a medical school anywhere but Seattle. What will be added here in uh, looking at 
just a year and a half away is, is an opportunity for students to take the first year and the second year and the third year and the fourth year here, all under the accreditation of the University of Washington, taught in partnership by, with WSU and WSU faculty working side by side with the School of Medicine faculty. So we will have the full medical experience. From the beginning, WAMI has been about partnership. It's been about uh, innovation, discovering new and better ways to, uh, to conduct medical education. Uh, the decision to uh, begin a pilot uh, program for second year of medical education in Spokane is a natural step in the uh, innovation that uh, WAMI has, uh, has meant uh, from the very beginning. What's so exciting is the fact that uh, the University of Washington has looked at the way they want to train future doctors and they take a look at a very successful model, a model that's worked really well for 40 years, and they've been bold enough to take it on and change it. To say, you know what, it's great, but we can make it even better. And by us using Spokane as really the pilot place to look at that change. And the, the main change again, having the second year of medical students in Spokane. Everything that's happening on the River Point campus uh, is incredibly significant for what the future of not only Spokane looks like, but for the entire region. The university district as a whole represents a pretty significant collaboration amongst multiple universities and institutions. The, the WAMI program is working very well in Spokane because of the, uh, uh, the support of the community the interprofessional nature of the educational programs. The River Point campus is a wonderful collection of uh, health science professionals. The resource committee was formed um, about a year ago and our job um, is really to go out and one, educate the private sector, educate them, engage them, and then work with them to raise some private sector funds to be able to match what some of the public sector funds are. This, I would say, is one of the single most exciting things that I know I personally have been able, uh, ever been able to be involved in, but I think it's one of um, the most significant things for this region. Well, we're very excited about the, the foundation that the new Biomedical and Health Science Building really provides for the campus. We're very excited about the building and the infrastructure it provides for the growth of research and education. It'll just be a start, however. We, we, as soon as we get it built, we'll have it full and we'll be pushing to say, well, what comes next and how do we continue to grow? For us, it is a chance to be innovative. It is a chance to expand the reach of medicine in this community. Uh, for this campus, it basically will be leading the way. Uh, for the community, uh, it gives us a chance to have students see this as their site of education across all four years of training potentially and then it gives us then a chance to have those students view this as a place to do their graduate medical edu education training residencies and then hopefully in the future practice. As a, a, a community leader, a business leader, it's just being a citizen of Spokane. There's not very many chances you have to have a legacy project that makes a huge difference to the community. What a wonderful legacy for this community to leave to future generations. What an opportunity to create an economic impact that is unheard of, uh, I think, for most communities. Think about it, if you could recruit a business to Spokane and you could say that business would bring $2.1 billion of economic impact, you, would, you wouldn't say that's a home run, you'd say that's a grand slam. As this medical program within Whammy Spokane expands, there's going to be more and more students and a need for more and more teachers. And I think at this point in my mind, I see myself being a clinician 60 to 80 percent of the time and hopefully teaching 20 to 40 percent of the time around Whammy Spokane. And, um, we have family in the area and lots of friends. We'd love to come back to Spokane at some point. Originally from Lapwai, Idaho, Dr. Kim Hartwig knew she wanted to be a doctor since she was 14. As a family medicine physician today, her passion for being a doctor and caring for her patients are what matters most. The education component of um, 
medical training is, is vital to you know, continuing the profession. You can't train doctors if you don't have doctors willing to, to educate. So um, that component is really, really important. And I think the generosity of the community, especially like Spokane, um, and you know, surrounding areas in Whammy Land really have contributed a significant amount to, you know, conti to continuing our profession. Some of the things that reinforce my choice into family medicine are um, the trust that patients place in me, um, <laughs> the reinforcement and trust that patients place in me to care for them with one of their most valuable possessions, their health, really is, is reinforces my, my choice almost every day to be a doctor. For Whammy students, in the third and fourth year of their medical education, the opportunity to experience medicine firsthand in several clinical settings across the five states often determines their ultimate career path. It is also a chance for experienced doctors teaching these students to gain inspiration from these inquisitive minds. By far, my favorite rotation was OMAC, where I went there to do family medicine. I was a little nervous about going out into the middle of nowhere, or what to me felt like the middle of nowhere. Um, but I really enjoyed it because um, of the intimate relationship that you develop with your preceptor out in Whammy Land, because it's just you and the doctor. So your learning is of paramount importance. Under the classic model,